hello everyone here in this particular video we're gonna learn about uh, how to find the percentage difference with the average of last six months so when i say average this is not going to be the normal average it's gonna be rolling average let me try to explain you with the help of an all right so here if you see here we have this particular data where we can see that this is the stock price for two companies one is ibm the other one is intel right and this is the monthly open stock price for 12 month in 2005 for each of these two company what we want to find is we want to find its percentage difference with last six month average now what does that mean what this percentage value is i'll just explain it to you okay so for example here what we are doing is if i have to explain you what this 0.15 or 15 percentage value is then it is nothing but simply we are taking the average of stock prices starting from here all the way till here and if you take the average it will come this then we find the difference with this average price with the current month price right so the difference will come this and then we're gonna divide it with the particular one okay with this average and then the percentage which we get is this when it moves to the next month then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the average starting from here all the way till this point okay means starting from february till july and the average price which gonna come is 84.09 then again we're gonna take the difference with this particular value and the difference comes to this 1.09 all right and then again we're gonna divide it with this particular value and then the percentage which we get is this so every time when you calculate the average this this should move to the next one right this should be shifted right so this is how the percentage needs sorry average needs to be calculated every time it will shift to the one month and the previous one will go away okay so after doing this at the end we want to have this kind of result all right so i hope that i have explained you the problem statement clearly now after understanding this problem statement if you think that you can solve this right i would encourage you to stop the video and write your solution put that into the comment section i'll definitely have a look on that and we'll get back to you okay but just make sure that you get the exact uh, same result all right because percentage will remain same and that should be moving for that should be moving average and that should be separate for each of the stocks right exact the same way they, they should look exact same way i'm going to explain you the solution which i figured it out and you are welcome to go with your solution this is just a problem statement which will make us you know a little creative okay now i'm going to solve this particular problem statement in five simple steps uh, steps okay so the first step is arranging the data in this particular way what will be the benefit when you arrange this so this is if you see this is simply i'm taking lag of it for uh, we are taking i'm taking six lags over here okay so if you notice over here in this particular one this is nothing but the price from previous month this is price from previous month this is price from previous month this is this price this is this price and this is this price and the same thing will continue all right so this is how we can get this uh, the, the price arranged in this way lag by each okay then after that in this step what we are doing is if you notice over here so it this this structure continues even when the stock gets changed right so for example if you notice over here this 89.15 is not the previous month stock price for intel this is the stock price for from ibm if you see over here also the same thing is happening right over here also same thing is happening so we need to figure out a solution that the moment a stock name changes or company name changes it should get reset right so that should look something like this okay this is how we gotta make this solution every time when stock change the price should get reset so if you notice over here this is not the ibm price this is the intel price you see this is this value so this kind of structure we have to build then in the third step what we gonna do is we gonna sum them up all together so if you take a sum of this value right so this will be particularly sum of stock prices for last six months right so these all are the value has been arranged 
horizontally over here and if you take a sum then this is what you are going to do that's it once you are done with taking the sum then you can simply divide them by 6 and this is where you could get the average rolling average right and after getting this rolling average all that you need to do is find the percentage it's very simple okay now once you are done with all these things you have the final result over here but if you notice these all are the things which are not making much sense because these are less than six months and this would not have of much value so what we're gonna do is in next step we're gonna remove them all together okay now this is the final cut but all these columns are not required in our final output in the final output we want to keep this many columns only so in the fifth step we will remove all those columns now this is done with lectures and now let me take you to the sas and try to explain you with the practical example all right so here i have created that thing just to show you on the dashboard okay now i will just remove them all together and i will create it right away in front of you okay so i will do it through macro macro rolling average we're gonna create a macro and then here i'm just going to mend it and then here i will call it rolling average okay now in this what we're gonna do is okay before i move forward let me show you the data ones so this is the data which we're gonna use this is a stock price for three different companies ibm intel and microsoft for 2005 that's the open price this may be real may not be okay i'm simply taking it from sas help library now first thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna sort this particular data proc sort data equals to la dot stock sample by stock i'm just sorting this data okay and then run so this data will be sorted after that i am going to create another data set which is called set testing and then i will set la dot stock la dot stock sample and here here i would say run now after doing this the first thing which we need to achieve is create the structure for six months okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say open all right so let's run a loop percent do because we are writing a macro so that's why we have to use percent do i equals to one percent two and we want to do it for six months so here i would say six and then here i would end this what exactly we want to do we will write in this particular loop so here we want to create another variables for open sorry let me say open and if i have to show it to you here the variable name should be open one two three flannel etc right open and here what we can do is we can use the macro variable so it will create six macro variables variables open sorry not macro variables but six variables okay open one open two open three etc and in that we want to store the lag value which will be open i so op lag i will be equals to lag one and in this we want to take the lag of open price right so now this is done we will this particular patch will create the structure of last six months okay i will just print this proc print data equals to testing and then sorry data equals to testing and then just run it so i am just going to run it just to show you the result all right so here it is done we are done with first step now the next step comes in is resetting the values at each change in stock name right here and similarly for the next change over here for the microsoft okay so that's that's something which we're gonna do over here so for that first we will do is we, what we will do is we will create an array variable over here i'm going to say it lag var that's the mac uh, that's the array variable you can give a name whatever you want and in this i am putting a star so this will automatically take the count of all the variables whatever we are putting inside this so i am putting the variables starting from open one all the way till open six so this lag var would have the count as six okay now i will go by stock and i will create another variable if first dot stock wherever the stock is changing i am going to say count equals to one right this particular variable is created over here now after that i will run a loop normal loop 
right do j equals to count to dim lag var lag var so this variable we use dim to take the count take the number whatever is stored in this particular variable right so if you want to understand the array i will provide the link into the description you can check that out okay so do j equals to count to dim lag var and here i am just going to end this particular thing right so this is ended but inside this loop what exactly we want to do we want to reset the value for this open variable right so as of now that is assigned in lag var right so here i would say lag var and here i am going to say j so every time it will keep on changing lag var 1 lag var 2 lag var 3 etc and here i want to assign the value as missing all right and here we need to change the increase the value of count variable by one every time so every time the loop is ended this count variable should be changed okay now let's run this and see if that works as per the expectation yes it worked as per the expectation now if you see it has reset the value at each change okay so this is exactly what we wanted now we are done 50 percent of the work is done now all that we need to do is take the sum and then get the average and then the percentage so we are going to see the variables name first we need to create open sum then rolling average so i'll just write the variable name over here open sum then rolling average and then the third variable name is pct diff six month average pct diff i'm just trying to keep the variable name same that's why six month average okay so these are the variables which we need to create let's create that so here we're gonna say sum of so particularly we have to take the sum starting from open one till open six okay so what we're gonna do is sum of open one to open six this is done this will take the sum now after once the sum is taken you're gonna find the average open sum divided by six because we are doing it for last six months so i'm dividing it for six okay now after this we have to take the percentage of that so percentage will be difference from rolling average with op with open price not the open sum open price okay and then whatever the difference comes in we're going to divide that with this rolling average yeah you got it right now let's see how the data looks like so the, i i believe this is pretty clear to you now once you execute this after over here right so here you got here you got the open sum rolling average and percentage difference right so this is exactly what we were looking for right now if you see over here this is the value which we needed right this is the average if you remember in the very first we saw this thing right now after this all that we need to do is we need to reset all these things to missing because this does not make any sense right now after that what we're going to do is for that to reset that we will create a counter variable so for example the way we have created a count variable over here so i'm going to say do and over here i will say end okay count variable will remain as it as it is i will create another variable which is called counter and i would assign the value as one and in the else condition else condition i will just increase the value of counter by one okay and here i'm just going to say end so if you are interested in learning how to create the incremental counter for that there is another uh, video you can just check that out okay here we're gonna say else do else do we're gonna say else do all right so once you do this particular thing then it will create a counter variable right now let me show it to you first so when you do this you see over here the incremental counter is created 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and at this point it is again starting with one starting from one now once this is done all that you need to do is because here we wanted to we want to set all these values as missing as as missing right so that's what how can we do we simply need to say if counter less than six then do 
and here we just need to end this thing this particular thing all right and all these variables we can take over here all right so let me just type it that's gonna be much better open sum equals to missing all right then we're gonna say rolling average rolling avz equals to missing and then again i am going to say this particular variable this i would also set to be missing all right now once this is done i will show you the data how the data looks like if you see over here all these values are gone all those not uh, unwanted values are gone now in the final output we don't require all these variables so i am going to keep only those variables which are required for but this particular thing so i would say keep and in that what we want is a stock and then we want date then open price and then this particular variable this is the final one which we want to keep in our data all right so everything is done by now so if you just execute this here is the final output which we wanted right if you see if you have a look over here all right so like you can see over here here it is showing for june as well if you want you can just say greater than equals to we don't require from the june right we require it from july so now we have it from july you see here so this is exactly what we wanted to do and it is done over here i just hope that it was clear to you if you want to have a look on this script i will try to load this particular script on github and then you provide you the link in the description section just check that out and then you can take a reference from here when you are creating this i would highly encourage you to try this this is very interesting and it's it is useful when you are automating the things in your daily job I did similar thing in my work to automate and to create some analytical data okay so I just hope that it was clear to you and you enjoyed watching it just in case if you get any doubt put that into the comment section I'll definitely try to get back to you until then happy learning wish you very all the best